So I want to show you a really easy way to um, ship a painting. And this goes for paintings that are small all the way up to about 30 inches by 40 inches. And, and you can go bigger than that if you use a real heavy duty cardboard box. But if you get into really large paintings, then you've really got to build wooden crates. But this is a really safe way to ship a painting. It's going to protect your painting completely. Um, you know, as long as somebody just doesn't squash the box, it's going to be fine. Um, and I have this box here, and you can see how I've sized it. So it fits in real tight on one side, and then the other side's got a little bit of a gap, and that's going to be for the wood pieces that I'm going to show you. But that's, and it doesn't have to be perfect. If you've got a little bit of extra space, it's not going to hurt the painting to shift around in there a little bit. But so there's the box, and now I've got these wood pieces here and I'm going to screw on to the edge of the painting uh, four of these wood pieces. Okay, so I've already drilled these, these four pieces, and if you'll notice, and I just stacked them like this and then, and then just drilled them, but notice that the hole is off-center a little bit. Okay, so I've got these, the hole is just off-center. And so when we put the, when we screw this onto the side of the painting here, I'm going to have a little bit more length on the canvas side and so that way the canvas is in the very middle of the box but basically so it's like that in other words this is the wrong way you do it this way and that gives puts this painting more or less in the center of the box okay so I've got these four pieces of wood and I've already drilled them um, and then I've got these four drywall screws um, and these are just you can get them at any hardware store. They're the kind that have a real sharp point on the end, and that makes them easy to screw into this, this uh, stretcher strip. But this screw basically slides in. Um, the hole is tight, but it doesn't really thre actually thread the hole. See, as I turn it, it just spins in the hole, and that's important. You don't want it to thread inside this hole, but you do want it to be pretty tight. So I'm just going to take this board with the screw and the screws all the way through the board. It's a lot of extra length there and I'm just going to put it right in the middle of this stretcher strip and it's got a sharp point on it. I'm going to press it in and notice I've got the longer side where the canvas is. And then I'm just going to screw it right into the board like this. And this drywall screw has got a real sharp point on it so I don't have to pre-drill it. So I'm just going to tighten that down. It doesn't have to be real tight, just kind of snug, but I can still spin it a little bit, and that's, that's fine. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put all the rest of them in. So I'm just going to finish screwing all four of these boards into the side, and they're all nice and snug, but they can still rotate a little bit if I, they need to. And then I'm just going to drop it in the box, like so and close it up. And these boards will actually give the box extra support. And notice I've cut these boards to be just the same height as the box, just barely short. So then when I close it up like that and tape it up, it's ready to go. And uh, it actually protects the painting very well.